Hello everyone, I'm new to roses here and I would like to share with you my small collection. I have mostly David Austin roses, but also a few other ones. This one is a damask rose and we planted this one from a cutting in the fall. It's hardy down to zone four and can reach six to nine feet. It should form rose hips in the fall and I'm hoping to use it for its healing properties and experiment with the oil. And I will uh, keep you up to date whether it blooms this summer. It is a once blooming rose. This is the east facing side of our house. Um, when we bought the house, the grounds were a big mess. So we've been trying to slowly revamp and work on each area with my husband. These roses that I have here are all climbing roses from David Austin. They were shipped uh, in the fall, bare root. I will say they're doing pretty well so far. I haven't seen any disease, although it is early to tell. I recently fertilized them with the rose fertilizer that comes from David Austin. And uh, I bought all three of them from their website. I think they work perfectly for this spot as we get mostly uh, morning sun. And I'm looking forward to updating everyone on their progress and I will be posting um, updates on whether they bloom this summer. They are all re-blooming roses. This one here is another damask rose. It's called Blush Damask. I forgot where I bought it from. These are my patio roses. Uh, I've been doing great. This is the south facing side of my house and it gets sun all day. So they love this spot, they're patio roses. So they've been in containers now going on their second year. This one is one of my favorites. It's the Grace Rose. They formed this beautiful peachy big buds. They are delayed though. This one and uh, the Munstead Wood, which is the one I'm showing you right now. They're pretty delayed this year and I don't know why. I'm hoping they come back. If not, I'm considering uh, planting them, replanting them in the ground, finding a spot for them in my garden. And then this one is another favorite, the Tranquility Rose. And as you can see, my husband is mounting these trellises for me for the three David Austin climbing roses. We bought these trellises from Overstock and uh, I believe they're sturdy enough to support these roses in the future as they grow. I'm actually quite curious to see how much they'll grow this summer and fall and see if they'll push any blooms. All three of them are re-blooming roses, and um, they were shipped bare root in the fall. And they're looking quite good. Climbing roses uh, prefer a bit of shade, so this spot should work well for them. And I'm looking forward to updating you on their progress. Thank you for watching this video and have a blessed day.